everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. In fact, probably the most impressive thing about this brand and about this partnership that we have is that we've got promotional opportunities for you to take advantage of deflation. We're going to help you save money. So listen up. So typically... What Mint Mobile does is offer a great deal in wireless service. Uh, they sell lines for as low as $15 per month. But what they're doing now with the deflation promotion is they're going to charge you $15 for any of their four plans, whether it's the entry level plan, the 10 gig, the 15 gig, or what I would encourage you to try is the unlimited plan, all of them $15 per month. So the same price for any plan. Just think about how much money you'll be saving and the value in that pricing. So go ahead and use our partner link. It's in the description. We welcome you to the movement. Activate a SIM. You could do eSIM, physical SIM. They'll ship you one. Folks, take advantage of this opportunity. You can't beat this price. The legendary customer care. The partner link in the description will help you unlock those savings. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mintmobile.com forward slash Sneed. Link in the description. Use it. You'll save money and you'll be helping out the channel. SMT Nation, we back, and we're doing some of our initial coverage on the T-Mobile business home internet. I should just say T-Mobile's 5G business internet, I guess would be the right thing to, to call it. Anyways, we have the Insego FX2000 model device. I kind of like this thing, guys. Uh, if I had to describe it, I would describe it as compact. All right, I really like the design. It's really small, right? Uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space. A very different setup compared to like the trash can or whatever, you know, models you guys have been seeing from the 5G home. This is quite different. You got a couple antenna ports. You got the power port for the, the proprietary cable. Uh, you got the vents underneath. Uh, there's a couple of little like uh, height adjustment thingies there. Uh, and then it's got all the information on the back with like the, the Wi-Fi password and all that. And I think at the top is just some ventilation and I'm, I'm guessing just some ports for the antennas, you know, to kind of get the signal out a little bit better for the Wi-Fi. Anyways, let's get this thing plugged in and powered up. And I want to show you guys what it might look like when you set up yours. Uh, when you initially plug it in, you will see that there's a LED light indicator at the bottom. Or I should say it's actually at the top, right? The way that this thing is designed to sit, uh, so, so the light and, and stuff like that should be pointing up. And uh, it starts out red, and I think what you're going to be able to see in the video is that eventually it stops the red and it starts showing blue, indicating a blue color, which in my estimation, blue is a go. All right, so it flashes right after a solid red, and then it becomes blue, and that lets you know that it's been activated and it's been turned on. This was a really easy setup process. Literally, take the charging cable out of the box, take the gateway out of the box, plug it in and it was up and active within seconds. That's it. That's all it was folks. So then if you want to connect it to a separate router, uh, if you want to connect, you know, any other devices by the ethernet cable, you know, that's ready to go. All right. So let's go ahead and get it connected to our iPhone and let's do our first initial Wi-Fi test. And I'm, I'm not going to say that this is definitive and this is exactly what it's going to be moving forward, but this is just the initial testing. So I will be doing more testing and I'm going to, you know, test it at different times of the day. This was in the evening, right? Early evening, uh, you know, just to give you a time frame. And this is on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And with the art of fast forwarding, we got 547 megabits per second downlink, 11 megabits on the uplink, ping times in the 50s, uh, the loaded pings, 800, 900-ish. We got some jitter there. All right, not great. Let's run it one more time and see how this turns out. Hopefully a little bit better, right? Hopefully. Uh, let's fast forward, see how this is. All right, so we got 563 down. We got about 10 up. Ping time still in the 50s. Jitter is still there. It's about 17 milliseconds. And we're in the 900, 800 range for the loaded ping times. Okay, so th this is the way it's designed to be standing. Let's try it this way. I don't know if that'll make a difference. You guys will see now the bottom's kind of poking out the back. And 
let's see if that makes any difference. I don't know. So it's not the way it was designed to be used, but it's worth a shot to see if it changes reception in any way. All right, and with the art of fast forwarding, we can get our results. All right, so we got 513 down. We got about seven up, so it didn't really help the performance much. Uh, ping times in the 60s, jitter around 20. And I'm not really feeling that jitter at all, and I'm definitely not feeling the latency either. It's very average. Not the end of the world, but it's not great. Let's go ahead and do some testing. Let's get away from the iPhone. Let's test it on some Wi-Fi 6, and we're going to use the Samsung Galaxy S22. Uh, we got this thing connected to the Wi-Fi on the T-Mobile 5G internet. Let's go ahead and... and I just thought I'd throw this out there. I don't know if you guys have problems with Ookla and the speed test app on your Galaxy. If you do, let me know in the comment section because this app runs like crap on my Galaxy. Anyways, artifast forwarding. Let's get through this for you guys. And we're at like 464 on the downlink, right? So not much of a difference from the iPhone. A little bit lower throughput, but nothing too crazy. Uplinks around 10. So basically the same outcome. Right, I don't really see much of a difference. Ping's worse. It's at 75. Jitter at 21. Loaded. You know, pings. Eh, nothing really noticeable there. Let's run a second test just to confirm kind of those same results. Compare the iPhone. So we got 429 on the downlink. We got jitter again. We got 10 on the uplink. Really, that, that is probably my least favorite thing on the result is the fact that the, the jitter is there. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but this is the initial testing i gotta actually use this connection i'm gonna watch some 4k video i'm gonna do some multitasking put a couple of you know pulls on the network at the same time see how it holds up connect to an ethernet uh, more video coverage coming up here so comment down below your guys thoughts and impressions on initial tests and what you want to see me test moving forward thanks for watching like share subscribe for more